What's up guys? Today we are starting the Wednesday show. So I've been planning on starting this like way earlier, but I've had other stuff to record and edit, so I haven't been able to. But now I'm finally able to and I'm excited for it because I'm a fan of Jenna Ortega's work. And there's another character in the show that is from the show Gifted that I used to watch a long time ago. So I'm excited to see him in it. I have not seen like any of the other Adams Family work or whatever. Like I know the casts of like the other stuff, but this is gonna be like the first thing that I'm watching that like has to do with the Adams Family. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been saying that this show is really good, so I'm expecting good things. So I guess let's get into the first episode. Run by people whose dreams were crushed years ago. But I admire the sadism. It's like she's in such a bright place and it seems like she's the only like dark part. Who the hell is that? Names. Don't know who they were. Honest. Now. I didn't know she had a power. That was cool as fuck. So she saw what happened. Hey, freak. This is a close practice. What is she gonna do to you? She's going to release piranhas. Is she going to get expelled? Like, there was blood. They're all fed up with it. That was just like the weirdest thing. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Why was it like that? Why? Because it was the perfect school for you. I have no interest in following in your footsteps. Becoming captain of the fencing team. Queen of the dark prom. President oh, so she did. She had to like leave her other school. I'm like, I don't blame them. She released piranhas, but like, it's kind of funny. File attempted murder charges. How would that have looked on your record? Terrible. Everyone would know I failed to get the job done. <laughs> That's what she's worried about. Great guy. Yeah, they're just like you and me. Until they rip your throat out. She kind of got bugger eyes. So you weren't alone, you know? And now you're dead. Oh, Tisha. Hmm. Did your mother tell you we were roommates back in the day? And you graduated with your sanity intact? Impressive. <laughs> very interesting educational journey. It's so vivid. Howdy, roomie. Wednesday. <laughs> she's giving a, she's given a roommate that's her complete opposite. Not a hugger. Got it. Please excuse Wednesday. She's allergic to color. Allergic to color. I can clear something up. Rumors been swirling around that you killed a kid at your old school and your parents pulled strings to get you off. Actually, it was two kids, but who's counting? I thought she didn't kill the kid unless they're talking about someone else. 
although her crown's been slipping lately. She used to date a resident tortured artist, Xavier Thorpe, but they broke up at the beginning of the semester. There he is, the dude from Gifted. Ain't it? You're not gonna believe the dirt I heard about your new roommate. She eats human flesh. Totally chowed down on that kid she murdered. You better watch your back. She's right there. I am not you, mother. I will never fall in love or be a housewife or have a family. Well, shit. That's kind of sad to think about. I never knew she was so set on like running away. Bear it back. You don't really believe that, Cher. No, I don't. Whatever did this wasn't human. Well, no shit. What the hell did you do to my room? Dividing our room equally. It's fair. Looks like a rainbow vomited on your side. I devote an hour a day to my novel. Perhaps if you did the same, your blog might be coherent. I read serial killer diaries with better punctuation. I write in my voice. Damn. That's what my followers love. Born concept to you. When I look at you, the following emojis come to mind. Rope, shovel, hole. By the way, there are two Ds in Adams. Okay, man. You gossip about me, at least spell my name correctly. <laughs> Is this a bad time? I'm Miss Thornhill, your door mom. Apologies, I wasn't here to greet you when you arrived. Isn't that Enid, the original Enid, Wednesday Enid, Adams? She's been smothering you with hospitality. They thought of this one. A black Dahlia. Oh, you know it? Of course. It's named after my favorite unsolved murder. Thank you. Favorite unsolved murderer. I want to go over a few houses. Murder. Lights off at 10. Without making any waves or perpetuating any outcast stereotypes. That means keep your claws to yourself and no smothering people in their sleep. <laughs> Knew she was gonna come in in all black. It was a clean strike, Rowan. Maybe if you whined less and practice more, you wouldn't suck. Anyone else want to challenge me? I do. Well, shit. Interesting thing about bees. Pull out their stingers and they drop dead. Rowan doesn't need you to come to his defense. He's she straight up turned around after she said that fact. Point to Wednesday. Carry challenge. No masks, no tips. Winner draws first blood. Does she accept? Let's see if you bleed in black and white. Let's see how this goes. Is she gonna like make her bleed more blood or something? Sorry about that, Nick. No good deed goes unpunished. At least she's not a sore loser. And she fully knocked out, okay. I've never felt that way before. Yeah, losing to Bianca has that effect on people, I think. And then I looked up and I saw that gargoyle coming down at me and I thought, well, at least I'll have an imaginative death. 
<laughs> then you tackle them the way. Why? My undying gratitude? Mm hmm You know, most people just say thank you. I don't want to be rescued. So I should have just let that thing smash you to mush? I would have rather saved myself. Oh, I thought she was just gonna say yes. If it makes you feel any better, let's just say I return the favor. I don't know, but we were ten and we were bored. Decided to play hide and seek. I had the inspired idea to hide in her casket. I got stuck because it was headed to the crematorium. In the casket, okay. The hand's not being so slick this time. Find out just proves how much they underestimate me. Oh, thing. You poor, naive appendage. My parents aren't worried about me. So he talk, the hand talks with sign language? Or am I tripping? Is that not sign language? Of course I have a plan. And it begins now. Okay. Perhaps afterwards we can visit the weather vane for hot chocolate. Principal Weems, this feeble attempt at bonding is beneath you. She's trying to be nice. Given your history, I'm here to prevent that from happening. I wish you luck. I read the notes from your school counselor. That's easy. I think that this is a waste of time. I see the world as a place that must be endured, and my personal philosophy is kill or be killed. So, for instance, when someone bullies your brother, you wanted her to be honest. The point is you assaulted a boy and showed no remorse for your actions. That's why you're here. He lost a testicle. I did the world a favor. People like Dalton shouldn't be allowed to procreate. <laughs> I've answered all your questions. We're not done yet. Editors are short-sighted, fear-based life forms. One once described my writing as gratuitously morbid and suggested I seek psychiatric help. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> as part of your psych evaluation. The relationship I found most intriguing was that of Viper and her mother, Dominica. Why don't we dig into that? So she wants a better relationship with her mother? It's not gonna work. So she can have visions about anyone. Holy crap! Do you make a habit of scaring the hell out of people? It's more of a hobby. All we have is drip. But drip is for people who hate themselves and know their lives have no real purpose or meaning. <laughs> Where you have one of these monsters at home? Steam powered guillotine. I built it when I was 10. I wanted to decapitate my dolls more efficiently. That's dark. Okay. Grab me for Barbie. He goes with it. Fun fact about me I can't be bought. So either wait or find someone else to drive you. Gonna have to wait. Freak. Have you ever been in the army? I've never found one that could handle me. Damn. He doesn't look intimidating at all, so. Kung Fu moves. My uncle taught me. He spent five years in the Tibetan monastery. Was he a monk? Prisoner. Hmm. Yeah. They were harassing a customer and she put them in their place. This little thing took down three boys? Yes. Did you help her? Yeah, I swear, it wasn't a ball. Wait a minute, hang on. You're an Adams? Don't tell me Gomez Adams is your father. Say so no, um. Tough in the same way. Mm. 
Okay. She kept the necklace thingy that her mom gave her. So she's a writer and she plays music really well. What else can she do? He's gonna look into her father. Not just because it's a school. How the hell did you get that oversized violin out the window? I had an extra hand. <laughs> Where's the rest of him? It's one of the great Adams family mysteries. I can all just had to fly to Milwaukee, would you believe it? Yeah, you know, she says there's a chance I might never you know. I'm failing to see the problem here. I could die alone. We all die alone, Enid. You ain't wrong. ran Nero over until they're assholes it was a scorpion bro leave it alone your secret's safe with me I still think you're weird as shit though everyone else does the hand he's gonna be so confused uh. I'm sorry you lost against a hand uh. hi that's thing <laughs> like your pet <laughs> And I can make it worth your while. Yeah, I'm in. And no charge. Consider it a freebie. That's nice. Well, good luck and safe travels. Still not a hugger. Got it. She let her brother hug her. Subtle hint taken. You should know I'm waiting for someone. Oh yeah, who's the lucky guy? Or girl. What does it matter to you? You jealous? Mean to interrupt. You're not. You see that sad lonely woman over there? She needs this pathetic validation more than I do. <laughs> Would you mind distracting her? Hey. Before you leave. I wanted you to have this. It's your dad's police file from when he was at Nevermore. You stole it for her? You okay? People engaging with me. Mostly me coming in across the street. You're not scary, you're just kinda kooky. I prefer spooky. It's such random places. Like, what if he didn't catch her? Is she trying to save him from being killed? I think you've got it backwards. to kill me because of some picture my mother drew that picture 25 years ago when she was a student at never it's always because of someone from the past <laughs> what 
the fuck? All that made me think of was the TikTok sound, like, oogly boogly, bitch. Like, So she was the reason he died because if she didn't try and warn him he wouldn't have died because it was the like exact same picture from her vision so like I don't know that probably doesn't make sense but mother I think I'm going to love it here Are you the... One... Okay. They gave us a description of ever like, of all this, like, groups. Vampires, werewolves. What the fuck does the oogly boogly bitch go under? What do I consider that? I don't know. Do I call him a that? I don't know. It's confusing. <sighs> so she's going to Nevermore, even though she doesn't even want to, but that was only because she put the piranhas on the dudes, but as she should. I still think that was a pretty bold thing to do, but she got kicked out and now she's there. But I think it's better there because she's surrounded by people that's like somewhat like her and it's like she could make friends and then like it kind of seemed like she was starting to in a way because it's like it seems like an improvement that she was warning Rowan that he was about to die and that warning got him killed but it was an attempt you know and then the fact that the lady who played Wednesday Adams and like the other movies like the fact that she's in this and as that teacher like I'm pretty sure that's her I think that's like cool as fuck like she wanted to be involved with it so she came back in a way I think I saw their like red carpet posts or whatever premiere posts on Instagram or whatever and it was cool like I didn't know she was actually in the show I just thought she showed up and they took a picture together I didn't read up much about the show before starting it, but I don't know. I like her roommate. Her roommate literally, I can't say she's the exact opposite of Wednesday because everyone in the show seems to be the exact opposite of Wednesday, so that wouldn't be a good term to use, but she's cool as fuck, and I think Wednesday should actually give her a chance because... It could end up being a good friendship and I mean in that scene where Wednesday told her about like the first time she cried or whatever the only time she cried it seemed like a bonding moment so that was a plus the principal though the lady she seems nice she seems like she actually wants to help Wednesday and not in like a weird way like other people seem to like hate her but the principal doesn't seem to be all that bad she seems to just want to help Wednesday and I fuck with that I like her and I wonder if we're gonna like see more of Wednesday's parents in the show like in person or all are all they just gonna be like on the fucking crystal ball the whole time I don't know we'll see but this show really got me hooked already. I want to start episode two so bad, but I have to wait. So I guess come back for episode two.